Hi there, welcome to our week three help video. Um, I wanted to talk quickly this evening about some um, of the resources that are available to you for support. Uh, of course, this week you have the first chapter test. Some of you have already completed it. Um, most of you still have that to do in the next couple of days. Um, but as you're studying and getting ready for the test, if you haven't taken it already, I wanted to remind you of just some of the resources that are available to help. Um, or if you're struggling with feeling overwhelmed and having a hard time locating those resources. Um, of course, first and foremost, just a reminder that I'm here to help. Um, a lot of you have, have apologized for emailing me. And, and like I always say in my responses, you don't have to apologize. That's what I'm here for with online classes. You know, please still think of me as your first line of, of help. So there are a lot of resources, resources online, but don't feel like you have to exhaust all of those before you contact me for help. Um, but here are some things that might be helpful to you as you're studying especially if you need help with something and it's 11.30 at night and you know that you're not likely to get a response from me in time. So um, first I want to show you some things that are in our course documents area in Blackboard uh, that you may have missed just because there was so much information thrown at you these first couple weeks of class. The first is a sample weekly schedule if you've been feeling overwhelmed with, um, with how to, not just how to get through the material, but how to um, grasp all of the content that's being thrown at you. Um, what the, the way I've designed this is to help you recycle back to the material multiple times throughout the week so that um, you have a better chance of learning it and, and retaining it after that week is over so that you still remember it when it comes to time for the test. So that's the goal with that, that sample weekly schedule is to break up the work and also um, give you the chance to revisit the concepts throughout the week at various times. Um, most of the time, just as a side note to that, most of the time the actual work for the class, the actual homework is not going to take all of the time that that I've asked you to devote for the class, you know, that, that you're expected to devote for the class being a four credit class. Um, and so the, those extra hours that you aren't spending on completing the actual assignments for the class, you should be spending reviewing vocabulary, going back and rereading the textbook, um, reviewing answers that you missed, that kind of thing. So, so there's some flexibility in terms of how you use your time. So let's see, the next thing that I wanted to point out, so I'm going to scroll down, hopefully it won't make you seasick, are these flashcards. So you can click on any one of these, um, these Quizlet links. So there's one for each chapter, each vocabulary chapter. I also have QR codes down here that you can scan with your phone for a quick way to get access to them. And then um, once you access those in Quizlet, you can save those to your own Quizlet account or you can join the class. And I have to approve it, so it might take a couple days, um, you know, or a day or so to get approved to join the Quizlet class. But um, you don't have to, you can just copy them to your own account. And then um, there's a Quizlet app, so you can have access to those on your phone, on your tablet, on mobile devices, so that you can have them on the go. So don't forget about those. Also, as you're finishing up the um, final draft of the composition this week, I just wanted to remind you there are also typing instructions here for typing special characters in Spanish. So those accented vowels, uh, the ñ, the upside down question mark, upside down um, exclamation mark, there's a number of different ways to type those, those special characters. And any one of those, those options is perfectly acceptable. Uh, I think that's it for right here. The other place that I wanted to show you is in the weekly folders. And I know, um, you know, now that you've kind of gotten into the class a little bit, it may be tempting to skip Blackboard for the most part and just um, go straight to my Spanish lab because that's where a lot of the points that you that you need to earn are. But um, I just wanted to remind you that Blackboard, of course, is where I put the support materials that I've curated specifically for you. Um, and you might not like all of them, that's that's totally fine, but um, like the videos that I have in here are things that I've selected specifically to support your work in this class. Um, and, you know, there may be others that you find that you like better, and I always have students who say that, you know, they're like, well, I, I liked, I found a different um, video series that I liked better, and that's perfectly fine. You can, you can find your own materials, and that's, that's wonderful, um, but I do, I, I choose videos that are um, that are good quality and um, that line up well with the way the material is presented in the textbook 
and the way you'll be assessed on it in the, your tests and quizzes in this class. Um, so I'm looking for a number of different things. So if you find something that works better for you, that, again, that's great. Um, I may have not seen it or it may be new since I put these videos up. Um, you know, there's a number of reasons that, that it might not be there. Um, but it could also be that it doesn't match up as well with the material that, and that's why I chose not to use it. Um, but again, um, use use these videos, use other videos that you find, and um, you know, make use of those resources because that's what they're there for. The other place I wanted to go is in my Spanish lab. So those are the resources that that are in Blackboard for you. And then in my Spanish lab, I wanted to point out in case you haven't seen this before, when you're doing an assignment. Um, it will have this need help with this activity box or um, link. And when you click on that, it'll bring up this little box that says need help with this activity. Click the following links. And it has the link to, oops, sorry, I bumped on my computer. Um, it has the link to the e-text page that talks about um, that particular topic. So that's helpful when you're um, you know, if you if you especially if you choose the option for scheduling where you read all of the text and then you go do all of the My Spanish Lab assignments for the week. Um, sometimes it can be hard to remember what specific topics each assignment is is um, assessing. And so using that and, and referring back to the exact page where the lesson was um, can be helpful to you. There are also links here to the tutorials. They are not specific to the particular lesson that you're on, though. And then speaking of the e-text, I'm going to show you a page that you may or may not have found already, and it is at the very end of each chapter. There's a page that kind of summarizes the chapter. So it summarizes all of the vocabulary. So every vocabulary word from the chapter is here with its English translation. And then it also lists for you the grammar concepts that were covered in that week or in that, that chapter, I'm sorry. So when you're getting ready to take the test, one way that you can um, help make sure that you're ready for it is to go through this page and review the vocabulary and look through each of these, these grammar topics and just kind of gauge yourself. How comfortable are you with those? And go back and review the ones that you might be uh, having more trouble with. But this page especially, this vocabulary page, is really beneficial. Um, I've had students who like to um, print or make a copy. If they're using the print textbook, they'll make a copy of it. If they're using the e-text, they'll print it and then um, have it just on hand all the time. You know, when you're writing a composition, when you're doing homework, anything, you just are always able to refer back to this page. And by the end of the semester, you'll have five of them because we'll have five chapters. But then you can pull from all of that vocabulary when you're doing your work. If you're using the e-text, remember that anything that's highlighted like this, that means there's audio for it. My computer. Buenos dias. There we go. <laughs> um, so there's there's audio that if you're not recording a view, it'll probably play a little bit faster than that. But um, so you can always listen to the vocabulary as you review it. So that's a I think a helpful um, tool as well. So anyway, I hope that those are good reminders. I'm sure that some of them are, or most of them maybe you've already started using. Um, but I just wanted to take a minute. Again, it's it, the first couple weeks are super overwhelming and there's things that you probably saw at one point but then forgot that they were there. So I just wanted to remind you of those um, and uh, let me know what I can do to help and good luck on the your first test. Uh, remember this one is open book, open notes, so you can use all of those materials that you have. Um, it is not a proctored test. so. Um, what else? I think that's that's it. If you do have any questions or problems with the test, shoot me an email and I will see you all online.